What's up everyone, welcome to a new episode of Always Sometimes Monsters. We're almost in the final city. We just have to say goodbye to Mark, earn some money for the bus tickets, and then leave to meet our true love. Let's start. Mark's trailer is still living there. We get off to yesterday, by the way. I was hoping to see you off at the church, but I guess I miss you. Well, Mark, I didn't know what a church was. I went exploring the town a little, did you know you were expecting me? Just want to know what this town has to offer and all. You know. Oh, I hear you loud and clear. Would you end up if you don't mind me asking? I reckon you got in pretty late considering you weren't here when I got home. What did I do yesterday? I found some quick work, got myself a little job for the day, made myself a little money in it. Well, glad to hear you found something to do at least. Most people around here didn't bother doing do much at all. Same for wasting time at the street club. Well, I didn't waste time, I made money. But enough about that. I want to talk to you about San Fredano. What about it? Well, it's an awful long way to trip from Dubstown, don't you think? It's important to me to be there. Okay. Have you decided why yet? I'm not judging or question quite quite questioning your motives. Just think it's something worth asking yourself, girl. I'm here to help you no matter what you ask me. No matter what happens. Same for Daniels and means to something else. You gotta know what it is. All I'm saying is that. I want you to be sure of the direction we're going, and the reason for it. Am I sure why I'm going to Sanford? I'm pretty sure. Alright then, you know it goes from here or not. You're gonna be calling the shots for real now. Just follow your gut feet. He's kind of a nice guy. I didn't expect this. Speaking of Sanford, how are we getting there anyway? No offense, but this trailer doesn't look like it's too road ready. Nah, you're right. The old gypsy gotten a little fat in her old age. She's none too fit for a road trip these days. We'll be riding something heck of a lot more stylish. Got one heck of a vehicle. You're gonna love it, babe girl. It's the fastest, shiniest, most reliable hot ride you've ever seen. You've got a convertible? You bet we do. That is, if we can get the keys back. What do you mean? Well, a couple months ago we got impounded at Mechanic Stints. Say garage. Garage is the graveyard across the town. And I'm sure that it's not from that simple conversation can solve. Fact, why don't you finish up the coffee and meet me there? What sense in putting it off any longer, I suppose, right? No, I guess not. Alright then, see you in a bit. Oh god, there we go. Come on, Stan. You know I'll get you the money eventually. That's not the point, preacher. The car's not leaving this shop until I'm paid back in full. Maybe next time don't bet more than you can afford to lose, huh? Right. I know I learned my lesson. And you'll be right there just waiting for me when I slip up again too. 
Do you ever get tired of profiting of others' failings? Possibly. I haven't had too much of a break to ponder it though. Hey, I'll cut you a deal since we're old friends and all. You want this car out of here so badly? How about we take one vinyl bed for all the marbles? I just finished construction on the track out back. I've been meaning to give it a good test run. One lap, fastest across the finish line walks away with the victor. You win, the depth cleared and you get the keys back. Come on Stan, I'm not falling for it again. I made promise to my big baby boy God. Hey, well, we wouldn't want to upset the big spooky almighty now, would we? Um, sounds like Mark's having a bit of trouble. Shit. Who's this? Who's your little friend, preacher? Don't tell me you're turning this sweet young thing into a nun. Oh, this is part pooper. She's the reason I need car bag. Well, why didn't you say so? Hick, if you're not willing to bet on your right, I might as well extend off a- No, 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 no. That ain't gonna happen, little car mechanic. So, what do you say? Ever wanted to own a hot rod before? I've still technically got the right to do whatever I like with the preacher's car. And um, which one is that exactly? Well, it's obviously the shittier of the two. Nothing beats my car. Duh. Go on, let's see how well you can guess. Oh, well, I don't know which car is his. I expect a red one because he looks kind of red, I suppose. He has this red taint, red, red kind of tannish, red kind of sprite, I suppose. Is it the red one? Wrong! Haha. <laughs> as, as if the preacher could afford something as exquisite. It's a devil's chariot. Nope, this is a far shittier blessed blues. Good luck getting a top speed faster than a school bus with a thing. <laughs> Don't sweat it. It's still a one hell of a vehicle. Normally I wouldn't risk losing such leverage. But I like the way you look. If you're willing to gamble, then I'm game, girl. What are the terms? One lap around my newly completed racetrack. Fastest time win. But it's your track, you know everything about it, inside and out. Provided you don't wipe and wipe out and wreck yourself, that is. <laughs> you win, you get the keys to the preacher's car. I win, hmm, now what do I want? If I win, you gotta work for free out back in the scrapyard for the next three months, no? Way. <laughs> and don't think you can run away. What do I have to do with it? This is a Arkansas problem. God damn it. Oh, man. It's not my debt, you. What an ale. Three months? What the WD freaking F? That's insane. How am I supposed to live making no money? Oh, don't worry about that. I'll throw you a loaf of bread or two every week. Wouldn't want you starving more. <laughs> I'm a dick. I'm a douche. Besides, I'm sure the good preacher will help you look after you, right? Not like he's going anywhere soon either. Now don't worry. I play fair on all my bets. Got it. You can ask the preacher man. He'll tell you. I'm not cheat. I'll give you as much time as you want to make sure the car is in good working order before we drive. Heck, I'll even let you work in my shop if you need to. Only rule I won't break on though, is that once you say you're ready to go, there's no turning back. Can you have some principles? You know what I mean? Mark, what do you think? 
That's dangerous. Not only is Stan a crafty bastard, but he's one he heck of a driver. As that may be, our only way out of town. No, it ain't, Mark. I can save up. I can work. I can save up for a bus ticket. You, on the other hand, you can stay here. You. Oh wait, wait, what? There's no bus service to San Fernando, and I don't know where I, we could get another car. Well, if I remember right, there was one. And we don't have a choice, do we? We always have a choice, baby girl. Always. Fortunately, the alternative is giving up on San Fernando. I'll help you no matter what you decide to do, but this is... A decision you have to make on your own. Well, this is a tough decision. Huh? So, what's it going to be? Risk it on, give it up. If I recall collect, 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 uh, correctly, there is a bus going to San Fernando. Let's risk it all. If I'm not willing to risk it all though, myself, then what have I been doing this whole time? Right? Alright, Stan, you've got a deal. I'll play a little game. Well then, let's shake on it and call it a day. I'm getting a little hungry and could use some lunch. It's gonna be a lot of fun. See you two later. Don't try anything funny while I'm gone. Remember, God's watching. <laughs> you know, I ain't afraid of us losing. Why's that? I see it so clearly now. This is just a test of our fate. You're gonna be just fine, babe girl. You got God on our side. Well, ain't that a relief? Hmm. Well, let's go take a look at this old piece and see how she's doing. It's been a while since I've checked under the hood of Old Blast Blue. Boy, I bet this thing handles like a dream. So, how's it looking? You think we actually got a chance to win? Well, it ought to run just fine, but Stan's track is a bit of doozy. I reckon it's got the handling needed to clear the big curve, but getting the good top speed stuff. You should find some time to take a look at the curse when you get a chance. Odds are we can probably do a few upgrades on the cheap, but we gotta know what we need. I think that's enough excitement for today. What do you say to grab some lunch at the bacon barn? There's someone I want you to meet, so how about I see you there in a couple of minutes? Sounds good to me. We're doomed. Why did Arkansas have to be in debt? Well, it sure beats walking to San Fernando, I guess. Not sure about that, baby girl. Wait, what's this? Oh, this is a racetrack. Wow. Wonder if we're actually going to race later on. Yeah, we. Boom. I just ran over the car. But there are chicken on the road. That's dangerous. I mean a hen, but a rooster. But how deity. It's animal abuse. Hancock. Or whatever your name was. Stan. Of course it's Stan. Stan's mechanic. Stan the mechan. Oh, printer is out of things. That's why we don't get 
Get no tickets to San Fernando. Rocket. Isn't it a shadow? Normally. Well, oh well, hot diggity. Apparently, he was bad. So let's get some bacon. Don't you dare to let me pay for it. Mark. Can I get that second burger with no pickles, please? Second burger, huh? Did you order for me already? Wouldn't dream of it. This one's for Carla. Little thing can't stand pickles. Who the heck is Carla? Oh, I didn't mention, did I? She's my girlfriend. Live my life. Why don't you order yourself something and come sit down? She'll be here any minute now. What have I gotten myself into? We get into that redneck crime life and you think about risking it all. Need some stamina anyway. I just ate it. Not too healthy here. Take oh wow. You know, it ain't fancy, but boy, do I love me some bacon barn. Quick service, you know, it don't keep you waiting on your food. Yeah, I guess so. Speaking of waiting around forever, where the heck is that woman? Just like Carla to leave you hanging on a day while me goes cold. Carla this, Carla that, man. I'm a wreck. She probably tied up with work again. From what little she tells me, I got her boss rides her. Wait, what? 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 In what way did you mean that? Mark. By the way, I'm already going to mention you had a girlfriend. Oh, I didn't think it was that big of an issue. We haven't been dating too long, but I got say the connection is definitely there. She's such a good and honest girl, got a real good heart and a real pure soul. She's my Dolores, my Dolores, my Cadillac Dolores. Maybe I'm speaking a little prematurely, but I think you might be the one. Look at you, getting all giddy about her. It's so cute. Now I can't help it. When you got that feeling, the feeling gets you. Sometimes you just burst right up, but then you're about certain people. You know what I mean, baby girl? That gut instinct that says you're meant to be together? Never trust it. More often than not, the feeling turns out to be right. I'm getting an accent myself too, Mark. What have you done to me? In my opinion, good things happen when you follow my, your heart. Well, I'm happier than I've been in a long time anyhow. God has got a lot to deal with that, I think. Speak of the devil. I'm a smudge. Sorry I'm late, babe. Work's been, work's been was killer so far today. I'm already dead tired. No problem at all, sugar. I want you to meet my friend. Carl, this party pooper. Party pooper, this Carla. Carl. Pleased to meet you, party pooper. How are you enjoying Salt City so far? Mark mentioned you were from Tapstown. Yeah, this. Place sure is different. It's okay, I guess. Kinda weird being stuck in the middle of I'm doing the accent again, ain't it? It's contagious, I tell you. Contagious.
That strip joint to the north seems pretty crazy though. Ow, oh, it's nothing but dim lighting and drunk idiots. Ain't nothing good can come from wasting your time, dear. Thinking of those poor girls debasing themselves with money like that breaks my heart. Breaks my achy, breaky heart. I can't imagine how embarrassing it must be living that sort of double life. Right, I hear you. Enough of that, that for now though. How about we eat some? So, what have you been, two been up to today? Oh, we just got back from Stan's shop. Looks like I'll be getting the keys back for long. Maybe. You're not gambling again, are you, Mark? You know that never ends well when you're betting with that freaking creep. <laughs> well, <Wow>, that's <sighs> consoling. Nah, I'm not betting against him, pot pooper is. I don't see how that is any better. Neither do I. Potty pooper, don't tell me you really agree to this. I'm afraid so. Already shook hands and everything, so it's pretty official, I guess. It's just a little race around Stan's track. What's the worst that could happen? You're kidding me, right? I was wrecking in a smoldering ball of fire sound. Mark, there's no way you're going to tell me that this car is ready for a race. I thought you said it was good as gold, a top-notch vehicle. Well, jeez. Just bless blue. Bless blue might need a few little upgrades before she's in peak condition. What kind of a, what no um, what kind of upgrades are we talking about? Keep in mind that we don't have a ton of money at this point. Not after all the bacon burgers. Well, I figure <laughs> you always says well. Well, well I figure we gonna need some new tires for starters. Steam track isn't exactly grind premium material. Ha, huh, you could say that again. <laughs> what I mean is it won't do us any favor losing a wheel to some rogue shrapnel. Alright, where can I get those? Hmm. I'm not budget. You're gonna have to come second hand. You know, I bet you could fit Darren over at the big dog boxing club to give you a seat. Uses them for training his fighters, but Mam Ship's been a little low these days, so he'll have extras to spare. Okay, I'll go talk to D Darren about the tires then. Just be sure you're ready to break sweat. Darren doesn't let anyone leave his heart, leave his club in a dry shirt. Else is on the list for repairs. What ain't on the list? Well, what have I gotten myself into? Honestly, what the heck? <sighs> the gear shift has tendency to stick, unfortunately. There's nothing worse than being on straight away and getting caught in a low gear. Shouldn't be too hard to fix if we can't find some industrial cleaner and give it a good rinse. Only problem is the stuff we need is real strong, over the counter stuff won't cut it, I'm afraid. Why can we get that then? Hmm. <laughs> we'll need to find someone who deals with those sorts of chemicals regularly. This fella, James I think his name was, hangs out near the closed down super gas just north of trailer park. Trouble kid, but he knows his chemistry, that's for sure. You're not talking about that kid, bro, weirdo, hey, are you? You know what he does for a living, don't you? Never be that any mine. It's not our place to judge. Some people ain't got the luxury of choosing their path of life. 
No sense looking down on them for it. Hey, whatever you two want. Now, I gather he's a bit of paranoid sort, so be prepared for a lot of mistrust. Alright, I'll see about paying him a visit. Is that everything then? Will. 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 Bless Blue is fast, but she ain't the fastest. There's a jump stance course, and unless we get a good top speed, we might not clear it, darling. I reckon we'll need a bad transmission if we're going to win this thing. New transmission? What else, Mark? What else have you held back from me? How the heck are we going to afford all this shit? Well, you right. They ain't cheap. Thankfully, though, Stan's not the only gearhead in town. Oh, yeah? Who's that? Another one of the folks in the trailer park, old guy named Coburn. Well, I hope it's a guy from the X, not the bacon. He lives in the green trailer all alone. Spends way too much time by the campfire. Back in his prime, he was something of a premier mechanic. So I've heard. Honestly, don't know much more than it. But if anyone could get us what we want, it's him. Uh, yeah, I actually know you, what you're talking about. We met on my way into town. Oh well, then I guess it'll be a piece of cake. I don't think so, man. See, the plans come together like a real good thing. I love it when a plan comes together. The way I see it, we'll have the keys back within a week. Alright, let me just write this all down so I can keep it straight. I wrote it down. Now, it's gonna take some time to get everything, so don't dilly-dally on it. I know you're not interested in staying here too long. Right, we've gotta get move on eventually. Speaking of getting the move on, I'm due back of the church. Carla, you'll be good. You'll be good. Party pooper, I guess come and find me at the church tomorrow. We get a start on that list. You be good, darling. You too, sweetheart. Well, about finish my food. Um, what do you say we go sit out a minute before I've got to get back to work? Sure, lead the way. It was really nice getting to meet you, party pooper. Um, yeah, you too. Mark talks a lot about you. I think you mean a lot to him. Well, I've got it, Dad. It's kind of weird because the time with me treasures, I was too young to remember. Right now, it feels like I'm really meeting him for the first time. Let you want on a little secret? Feels about the same for him, too. Knew you as a baby, but here he is getting to know you as a real person, a real adolescent, adolescent, adul adult. Right. I'm surprised you two are getting along as well as you are considering that. Well, he's done a lot for me so far, except for getting me into trouble with this freaking race we can't freaking win with all those expensive parts. I mean. Without him, I might not make it to San Fidano in time. Yeah, you mentioned you were on strict timeline. I just don't want you pushing him around and taking advantage of- Excuse me? It's the other way around, miss. You're using me for his freaking car. But I wouldn't dream of it. I knew. You seem perfectly gracious. It's just that I'm just really starting to get worried about his race. Well, so am I. I know Mark got failing you and his old car and everything, but it all seems so risky. 
I mean, what if someone gets hurt or worse? Wounded. What if someone gets killed? That's what I mean. You really think that could happen? I don't know. Maybe. The real question should be, is it worth the risk finding out? What other option do we have though? We already shook on it and I don't think there's any other way out of this city. We got some brilliant master plan by all means let me know i'm all open for it well i did have one idea but i know mark wouldn't like it what are you talking about well <laughs> she's always saying well well stanley's always had a bit of a thing for me no no girl he's always making comments and going on about I'm wasting a preacher. Of course, I always brush him off, but he's convinced I harbor some secret suffering. If I were to go into the shop and distract him for a while, do you think he could take care of his car? You mean, mess with the engine or something? I mean, cut the freaking brakes, make sure he dies. Now that's, that will get someone killed. Stan fixed the engine with no trouble. They're just the lady inevitable. Cutting the brakes on the other hand, you might not notice until it's too late. Way too late. You can't be serious, can you? I mean, what if he gets hurt or something? So what if he does? You get what you want. Uncle gets car back and how one less weirdo stalking me. Sounds like the pros are way to count in this one to me. I guess you're right, but I don't know. I mean, I'm going to have to think about this a bit. Mark was pretty disappointed to hear how low we stooped. Even if it was for the great good. Well, luckily I don't give a damn about Stan. So I'm ready whenever you are, dog. Just come find me when you're ready to. Do it and we can go from there. I'll be hanging around Mark's trailer in the mornings before I head off to work in the afternoons. So come see me then. Right, I'll remember that. Well, well, I guess I better get going. Break time's over. Gotta get to work. It was good talking to you, party poops. Yeah, you too. Well, I believe that's enough for today. Thank you so much for watching this episode. And tune in the next time if you want to know what our mess plan's gonna be. Are we gonna wreck Stan's car? Or are we gonna race fair and square? We'll see you the next time. Bye-bye, boys and girls. Bye-bye.